Welcome to this month's tip. This tip is based on the July 2003 tip, where Don suggested using patterns to establish datums was tricky. Y14.5 has come a long way since then and provides more support for doing this, but there is still a lot to consider. So we have divided this updated tip into three parts. Part 1 will deal with parts that have simple geometry. The Y14.5 standard tells us we can use a pattern of features to establish a datum. The pattern of features may be specified using one datum feature letter or a hyphenated list of datum feature letters, termed a multiple datum feature in 2009, or a common datum feature in 2018. One datum feature simulator is created for the pattern datum feature, and one datum is found on or within that datum feature simulator. It is important to remember that datums and the datum reference frame constrained by those datums are found in the datum feature simulators. The datum reference frame is related to the part when the part's datum features are mating in the order of precedence with the datum feature simulators. Y14.5 describes establishing a datum from a pattern of two or more features. If the pattern consists of parallel features of size, Y14.5 supports datum feature patterns at maximum material boundary, or MMB, and at regardless of material boundary, or RMB. A pattern of parallel datum features of size referenced at least material boundary, or LMB, is not explicitly supported by the 2009 and 2018 standards, but it is a logical extension of the concept. When doing this, all the normal requirements for datum feature simulators at RMB, MMB, or LMB must be followed. Let's start with a very simple example that is a pattern of two coplanar datum features as datum feature A. Here we have a part where we are using a pattern of two coplanar surfaces as datum feature A. Our datum feature simulator will mate with both surfaces and establish a datum plane. Remember, we must also tolerance the datum feature or features. We can control both the form and coplanarity by using the continuous feature modifier to define them as one feature. We will then apply flatness. Next, let's look at an example of a pattern of two offset parallel planar surfaces as a primary datum feature. This part shows an example of using a pattern of two parallel offset planar surfaces as datum feature A. We have used profile of a surface to control the form and the relative orientation and location of the two planar surfaces. Here we have a datum feature simulator with a 15 mm offset between the two planar surfaces. This will establish datum plane A. Note that we have two options for the location of simulated datum plane A. We are showing them here in red and blue. Because of this, the origin of any basic dimension on the drawing can be from either location. In this example, the basic 27.5 is coming from the simulated datum plane A shown in blue, and the basic 42.5 is coming from the simulated datum plane A shown in red. Either option can be selected when the drawing is created. Now let's look at our third example. It uses two coaxial holes as datum feature A. In this example, a pattern of two coaxial features of size is used to specify datum feature A. Our cylindrical datum feature simulator will mate with both features and establish one datum axis. Once again, we have used the continuous feature modifier. We have applied it to the size tolerance to define the pattern of two coaxial holes as a single feature. Remember, rule number one says there is a perfect form boundary at the MMC limit of size. Therefore, the size tolerance controls both the form and the coaxiality of the two holes. Notice that in this case, datum feature A is referenced at regardless of material boundary, or RMB. This means the datum feature simulator will be the unrelated actual mating envelope, or UAME, of the pattern of two holes. The UAME can be found by using a gauge pin or by measuring a sufficient number of points within the two holes then fitting a maximum inscribed cylinder to the measured points. The axis of that cylinder is datum axis A. In our example, datum feature A is imperfect. 
You can see from this first tip several examples of how the standard now supports using patterns to establish a datum feature. In part two of this tip, we will look at more complex parts. Remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. See you next tip.